Good morning. This is Renee, and welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you're returning, thank you for your support. I appreciate all of your support and for you visiting me. Um, this reading is for Scorpio in love uh, for December. If these readings resonate with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. What do we have for Scorpio? Okay, this wanted to pop out. Bittersweet. So something is bittersweet for you at the moment. What's well, coming? Forgiveness. And discovery. Okay, Libra. And what you're going to see on the bottom is a miracle. So. Let's see what else we have for Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? Okay, we've got feeling the world. And we've got Spirit of Gratitude. Okay, Scorpio. We also have Smoke and Mirrors. So, what you may not be seeing is I feel like someone is giving you a line. Someone is giving you a line. Someone's telling stories. Someone is not being truthful in your situation and i feel like you may be at a place where you're wanting to forgive them and move on because i feel like you're carrying a lot on your back with this feeling of the, feeling the world i feel like you're carrying a lot i feel like you have a lot of emotions at the moment um and I feel like I feel like what I want to feel like saying is that I don't feel like you're really grateful at this moment. I feel like you're very overwhelmed. But even in our overwhelming times, take time to be grateful. Take time to really be thankful for what you do have not what you don't have but a good thing about this is Scorpio is I feel like you're in a discovery mode so I feel like this may be you turning your back on something and looking for something totally new let's get some more cards for Scorpio what do we have for Scorpio for December in love? Okay, we have the Queen of Swords. These two wanted to come out. So we have the Four of Cups and the Judgments. <clears throat> We have the magician. We have the two of pentacles. We have the ace of swords. We have the six of wands. We have the ten of wands. And we have the Four of Wands. Okay. At the bottom, we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, Scorpio. So, what I feel is, okay, there may be an air sign coming towards you. The person that you're dealing with may be an air sign. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. 
but I, what I feel is that this person, they're telling you their truth. Now, it may not be truthful, but they're telling you their truth. And you're not really accepting it. You are, you feel like it's the same old, same old. You feel like this is just another line that they're giving you because you know that you know this person you know this person is very they may have lied to you in the past so you're not really trusting them you're not really thinking about what they have to say you're kind of overlooking what they're saying And that's pushing you into feeling you're feeling like you're being judged because you're not accepting their offer. But I feel like you you know what decision that you have to make. You you can feel your final decision coming on about the situation. You, you don't want to stand in their judgment any longer. That's how I'm feeling. It, it's, it's like you're totally done with it. You totally want to move out of the situation because you have the magician and the two of pentacles. So what I'm feeling like is that you want to create something brand new. You want something brand new out of the situation and you want to feel balanced you want to feel accepted you want to feel like they're giving the same amount you are in the situation and right now i feel like that you don't feel that scorpio i feel like you you feel like you're doing all the work now you have the ace of swords so i feel like whatever truths you're coming to you're going to have this moment where you just had enough you've just had enough in the situation and you just can't accept one more word from this person because their words kind of cut you like a knife no matter what they say to you it just like irritates the hell out of you everything that they say that's how I'm feeling and I feel like you want to move away from the situation. You want to leave the situation in order to create something new. Now, with this Ace of Swords, for some of you, this may be someone new coming into the picture to make you feel very successful, to make you feel very noticed, very abundant, to make you feel very recognized. I feel like for some of you, this could be someone who is coming in to help you think out this issue that's going to move you into the right direction for your decisions that is going to bring you into a new situation because you have the ten of wands and the four of wands so i feel like i feel like you've completed this this is complete this is now you're working past it so I feel like you're moving on from the situation. You, but I feel like all the things that you had in the situation, I feel like you're carrying your burdens with you. I feel like all the weight from the situation, you're carrying into your next situation. And you need to release these burdens so that you can carry, you know, less of a load into the next situation i feel like you don't want any extra baggage to come with you but i feel like you know once you release all this extra overload that you're carrying i feel like it's going to bring you into more happiness i feel like it could also bring you into something that um is new and more exciting I feel like taking a few more cards for this situation. Okay. We have the Knight of Swords and we have the Empress. Okay, one more card. I feel like taking one more card, please. 
Okay, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is definitely, um, after you release all this negative energy, after you move away from this situation, um, I feel like you are moving into a direction that is going to be more prosperous for you. I feel like um, with this Ace of Pentacles, with the Ace of Swords and the Six of Wands, I feel like it's definitely going to be a new beginning that's going to make you more happier in your situation. Now with the Magician, the Two of Pentacles, and the Empress, oh my goodness, it's like you're creating something that is going to be A much better situation see because the Empress and the magician they're both very good uh, manifestors they can manifest or manifest whatever they want out of life they have that ability the um, magician has all the tools that he needs to bring something from heaven to reality something from your thoughts to reality so whatever you're thinking about, set your intention out there. Really let the universe, your spirit, God, whatever it is that you uh, believe in, let them know exactly what you want in a person, exactly what you want in a soulmate. And I believe that you are so capable of manifesting that in the month of December with this magician the empress and the two of pentacles i feel like you'll be creating a lot more balance now with the queen of swords and uh the four of cups and the judgment i feel like the knight of swords i feel like don't be too hasty in this situation um maybe sit back and listen listen now if this is your person digging themselves into a hole let, let them dig their stuff into a hole. Just listen. Don't be so quick to act on this situation. Don't be so quick to act. And we have the, for the Ten of Wands and the Four of Wands, we have the Two of Wands. Yeah, definitely. So I really feel like Instead of waiting for this person to change, I feel like you are totally moving into a new direction. You have, you're making your choice. You're making your choice in this situation and I feel like you're looking for something new. You're looking to create that person that you're looking for. Hmm. What you don't see on the bottom is the Hierophants. So with the Hierophants and the Four of Wands. Now this isn't going to be for all of you, but this may be for some of you. This may be just a struggle that you're going through. You may just be conflicted at this time. You may just be arguing. Um, but you may be creating more peace in your situation and this may be a time when you're creating your family i feel like in december may be a time when you get pregnant or if you're already a parent i feel like you're focused on your children but yeah the hierophants and the four of wands that's a very good indication of a marriage the empress can also be a marriage card as well because she is a mother um she is a very nurturing a mothering type and she's very fertile so basically when we think about fertility and mothering we also think about marriage So this could be a new beginning. This could be you reigniting your your energy for this relationship. Now this may be for some of you. 
Okay, what is the final outcome for Scorpio? We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Six of Pentacles. And we have the Two of Wands again on the Two of Wands. Huh. So, Scorpio, we also have the Page of Pentacles on the bottom. So you may receive an important message in the month of December. But what I feel like is that, now this is for some of you, but I feel like you're still working on this relationship. I feel like you are... you're really hoping that it grows you're hoping that it prospers i feel like you're not really ready to let this go but i feel like this person that you're dealing with i feel like this person that you're dealing with has commitment issues i feel like they're not ready to commit or you're not ready to commit Someone is not ready to commit to this situation. But I do feel like someone's going to come in to offer you some kind of help. To offer you some kind of help in this situation. But I definitely see you moving in a direction. It could also be that you're just traveling for the month of December. You're traveling sometime during that month. But I, I really get this indication that, that you're moving to a new location. I feel like you're, you're saying it to yourself that you've waited for long enough, so you're just going to move. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to get... Let's get some cards from your person. Let's see what your person has to say. Let's see what your person has to say about this situation. What cards do we have for Scorpio? They're saying, I love you. Yeah, so I feel like this person loves you. They just may not want to commit at the moment. But I feel like there is going to be a commitment because you have the Empress, the Four of Wands, and you also had the Hierophant on the bottom. So I feel like, hmm, you also have, I will wait for a sign from you. So I think maybe they're waiting for you to make the first move, Scorpio. They're waiting for you to give them some kind of indication. You and I are too young, but they feel... Maybe they feel like they're too young to settle down. And they kind of see themselves doing that at a at an older age. One more. I know I messed up everything. Okay, so I feel like this person has a lot of regrets. This person has a lot of regrets about this situation. Maybe they went around about it the wrong way. Um, but I do see that I can't stop thinking about you. So I, I feel like they have really great feelings for you. Okay, Scorpio, I feel like you moved me all over the place with this reading. So um, I'm going to take a few cards to let you know what you need to do in order to get through your challenge. What does Scorpio have to do in order to get through their challenge, please? Friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Okay. Maybe that'll make more sense to you, Scorpio. Maybe, hmm. Let me know if that resonates. And we have grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. OK, 
Okay, so in order to get through your challenge, maybe you need to find support from your friends in order to get past whatever it is that you're grieving and change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I really feel like you you have a change that's coming, Scorpio. Um, all right, this is your reading. If this reading resonates with you, <laughs> please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any other uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And... Um, Many blessings to you, Scorpio. This was a doozy. The, yeah, this really had my head going. So, have a wonderful December, Scorpio. Many blessings to you. Love and light.